Okay, so if you've had the issue where you saw the 913 piece show up, uh, we're going to solve that. Uh, first thing we need to do is we got to change some file sharing settings. So to bring up this window, this is system preferences. If you click on the icon on the top left of your screen, the Apple, you'll see an option for, uh, it, it's called in the newer version system settings. Um, and if you have older versions of the, your OS on your Mac, it's system preferences. So mine is saying system settings and I've got it open. On the left hand side here, you'll see general. And let me just go back to general what it looks like. So you see general and then under there, you're gonna choose sharing. So we're in sharing. Uh, the first thing we wanna do is, uh, I was just I'm trying to go back from where I was at the beginning, file sharing. And so we're first gonna enable that. Uh, again, if you're on a different version of the OS, it might work and act a little differently. This is a little button. Uh, and if I look at this, essentially I want to create, uh, I've just turned on the file sharing, and I want to add where all my music is stored. So I clicked on the add, and I'm turning here, and I'm choosing open, and now that's in here. This folder name you're going to need to remember for later. If you don't remember what it's called, write it down, copy it, whatever it is, but you're going to want to uh, make sure you remember that. Um, in here, there are a whole bunch of people. At the very least, what you want to make sure is that your everyone is set to at least read only. This is an order of how much access you have. So read only, or in this case, read and write. I've set it up as read and write. You may or may not see these other things. I'm not even sure 100% what they are, uh, but I want to make sure that everyone has at least read access for this. And so then I'm going to choose done. Oh, one more thing, we can go back in there. Uh, info, then we have to choose, make sure we're on the right folder, we're going to choose options, and in here, uh, if this is disabled, you want to make sure that's enabled, and so it says share files and folders using you, uh, using SMB, and it seems like every time I come here and disable, enable something, I get another account, so just make sure if there's whatever ones are on, it's set to on, and so I say done, and then I think we're good there, and I choose done. So this is enabled. We're gonna go uh, do our first test over here. And sometimes we have little things that can cause hiccups. Uh, we said that one thing you're gonna need to remember is this folder name. So that one, the one we have here for me is called music, lowercase. And then the other thing I'm gonna need is this, uh, what's called the host name, but this is essentially the name of your uh, computer as a system kind of uh, knows it or thinks about it. So in this case, I actually copied it. But we're going to go over here. So now I'm get over into your Sonos app. We're going to, if you don't have this already, you're going to add one in, push the plus button. Even though it's not a uh, network attached storage, we are going to use this path to set it up as our workaround. Uh, make sure the slashes are focused the right way. This is again this name down here for me. I copied it so I can just paste it over and pay attention to the slash, and then for me it's music uh, underscore, I mean not underscore, uh, lowercase. These are examples that have to look similar. So I'm going to choose next. It's always going to ask for username and password. I've tried to, to get my username to work. Uh, it doesn't seem to be super happy with it. I read something where if you open up, if you're not super techy, choose your launch pad. Uh, and when you open the launch pad, you can at the top, you don't see it here, but I can start typing in the name terminal. And then this shows up. And uh, there it is. And if I type in who am I, no spaces, all lowercase, it will show this and that it happens to be the username for your computer. And so I'm pasting that in. And then this is when you log into your computer. For me, when I log in, I have a password and I punch this in. This has not worked for me. I'm gonna guess it's still not gonna work. It actually worked, M miraculous. Um, if that doesn't work, that's fantastic that it did. The other piece I uh, have been told, and this did work for me earlier when I tried it, I believe, is I'm again in this section here, so I'm back in system settings. If you go under users and groups, you can enable a guest user and you can allow them to 
it's asking me to make sure. Um, it says allow guest users to connect to shared folders. So I can do this, and then you go, uh, I believe we're going to just make sure uh, under sharing, uh, which is under general. Pets in the background, lovely. Uh, you can try it again in here, but when it asks you for the username and password, just hit enter. And it, the hope is that it treats it as a guest and just bypasses it because it's a guest. It doesn't need a username and password. And that's it. I kind of want this to work. So maybe we'll just wait for a second and let that work. OK, so that is a good sign. And if I hit cancel, what I'm now seeing is the music library to show up. And that's great. Uh, I should be able to pick anything in here. Up here, I'm starting to see that things are loading. So that's a good sign. And if I just picked a song in here, and let's pick the first one. And I can hear it. So I'll turn up a little bit. So that's pretty great. Uh, and I say pretty great. Uh, we should never be in this position, but uh, at least it works.